Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena, and this is The Organized Money, where we talk about planning life and managing money. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I'm setting up the month of February in my planner. The very first thing that I'm going to do is pull out all of my individual planners. As you know, I have seven of them, and I'm going to add the month of February behind the month of January in each section now normally I would be pulling out the month of January and just adding the month of February but since we are still in January we have one more week left I have decided to just add the month of February behind that month so that I can still have access to both months now I know that this is going to make my planner a little bit bulky for this week but that's okay I'm I know I'm going to remove January at the end of the week. So now that I have added all of my planners, I am now going to pull out my sticker books. These are all of the sticker books that I'm going to be using for my monthly spreads. And I have seven sticker books because I'm going to be decorating seven planners. So we're going to start off with my life planner decorating the currently page and I'm using the going places sticker book by happy planner in order to do this. I love the girls from this sticker book so I'm just going to pull out a few of them as I decorate the spread at the top here. I'm just going to put the month because you know this is an undated planner and then I'm going to highlight the important things that are going on this month add in my goals and then also add in my currently section of what I'm currently reading, listening to, and etc. Now this planner serves as an overview for all of my other planners and I love reflecting back on this page to see where I was, what my mindset was like, what I was reading, what I was thinking about, what was important to me at this time. Um, and this page really reflects that for me. So love adding in all of the different things that I was doing so that anytime I turn back to it, it instantly brings me back to this moment in time. The next thing that I'm going to do is flip over to my monthly spread. And on my monthly spread, I am keeping track of an overview of everything that's going on for this month. The very first thing that I'm going to do is fill out my monthly spread because it is an undated planner. Sometimes I will use date dots, but a lot of the times I will just write in the different dates. I'm going to stick with the Going Places sticker book and still add some more stickers throughout the spread. I don't add a lot of stickers on any of my spreads because I am very much a functional planner. However, this year I have decided to add more stickers than I have in years past. And it's mainly because when I was flipping through my planner last year, I realized how much they all look the same. Every spread looked exactly the same and I wanted to change that up a little bit even if I just add a few stickers here and there just so you can see some difference between the spreads. So the next thing that I'm going to do is go in with my pen. This is the Papermate Inkjoy 0.7 pen and write in all of the recurring events that I know are going to happen throughout the month and any important events that I already know is scheduled for the month. I don't have much going on in the month of February. I am teaching a college class on the 23rd, but other than that, I don't have anything else to write in just as of yet. So I'm just going to write in the things that I know and leave a bunch of space for room to write in future events. I'm going to pop these pages back in and then we are going to move into my business planner. For my business planner, I am going to be using the Biz Babe sticker book from Happy Planner in order to decorate this spread. They have a lot of inspirational business stickers in here, which is why I love it so much. And on my monthly spread is where I keep track of all of my content. 
So any Monday Monday class that I'm going to record or any YouTube videos that we're going to do or Tom Academy, Patreon, all of that lives on this sheet. And I always put out a weekly schedule of everything that's going to be happening every single week. And this spread is the reason why I'm able to do this. I like to try and be at least one month ahead of myself with knowing what content is going to go out. So I like to write out everything that's going to happen for the month then that way when it's time to record or when it's time to do a class I already know what is already scheduled so once again I'm just adding minimal stickers and I'm also adding the content that I definitely know is happening this month I'm probably going to finalize everything this weekend and then fill out the rest of this spread the next planner that I'm going to set up is my personal planner. My personal planner is my health planner and my home planner combined. This is the place where I am keeping track of anything that's going on with my family, anything that's going on with my house, and anything that's going on with my health. Originally, this was in two separate planners. I did have a home planner and a health planner, but I recently decided to combine the two because I really didn't have enough information to have them to be separate normally I already know what I'm going to do for cleaning I can mainly keep my meal planning schedule on my monthly spread so it just made sense to combine these two in order to keep and condense everything down so I'm going to be using the fitness sticker book in order to add a few stickers here. And then that's basically going to be it. I meal plan at the beginning of the month with my husband. So when we have our family meeting is normally when I fill this one out. My next planner is my faith planner and this one will be different because I'm actually going to use all of the stickers on this spread. So this one is a little bit different because I use it as an inspirational dashboard of a sort. Like I just wanted a spot where I could open it up and be inspired and put down as many stickers as I wanted to. And so that's what I have decided to start to do with my faith planner planner. I did it on accident for the month of January because I'd messed up the spread so much that I ended up using stickers to cover up my mistake. But now I am starting to do it on purpose because I love the January spread so much that I was thinking that I could do this moving forward. So that's what I'm doing and I'm using the Faith sticker book. This is the newer Faith sticker book by Happy Planner to decorate this spread and I'm also going to use the Flowers sticker book in order to decorate this spread. And this is definitely becoming one of my favorite things to do. I'm so used to being functional and productive that a lot of times I don't take time out to just have something be pretty. So this is very pretty, very inspirational, and I absolutely love it. The next planner that I'm going to flip to is my reading planner. And this one, I'm going to use the bookish sticker book by Happy Planner. And I'm going to be very cliche here by adding as many of the book stickers that I can find throughout my monthly spread. On my monthly spread here is where I'm just keeping track of what I am currently reading and how many times I'm actually reading throughout the course of the month. My goal is to read at least one book a week. So this is used as more of a tracker to make sure that I'm reading at least one book a week. And that's it for my monthly setup. As you can see, I'm just going to flip through all of the monthly spreads that I have done. Really love setting up my planner because now I feel like I'm ready to take on February. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in Friday's video and Sunday's vlog. If you didn't know, I now have a second channel that is a vlog channel. So make sure that you check the description box and you subscribe and see some behind the scenes videos over there as well. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.